Hey y'all, it's Gemini Queen. I'm back at you with another video. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, do you know that I went to Walmart? But um whatever. I don't even know why I just said that. But anyway, I just came back from Walmart. <laughs> um But um I've been inspired to do this video because maybe I can help some guys out there. And the guy that I'm going to talk about, I'm pretty sure he might see this video. He might not see it. But if you do see it, it's all love. Don't mean no harm, but maybe I can help you out. Okay? Now, I'm not going to say that this guy is a fuckboy, because he's actually not. He's a nice guy. He just went about things the wrong way. And don't mind my face. I don't have any makeup on one as you can clearly tell but why did I do that <laughs> I still look good so anyway so let me give you a quick little backstory before I even talk about what went down now I met this I don't even know should I use his name or should I make up a name let's say his name is Brandon so I met Brandon me and Brandon went to high school together. Brandon was a senior and I was a freshman. And we had art class together. We sat at the same table, but I never talked to him. Ever. I never. I didn't have any interest in him. I didn't like him. <laughs> I just didn't like him. But I was 14, so at that age, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. There were some guys that I liked or whatever. But... I wasn't really into like dating or anything like that. It's just it just wasn't that serious to me. I was interested in other things. <sighs> but I had problems at that high school, the first high school I went to. So I ended up transferring into a online school. We're not gonna talk about my high school struggles because I've been to five different high schools. Two of them were online academies, but we're not gonna talk about that. That's another video. But I had made a Facebook account. I actually have three Facebook accounts. One I made when I was 14 that I really should delete because my mother and all her friends are on there. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> but then I made another Facebook page that I stopped using just recently. And then I made my third Facebook page this year that I barely use at all. So I don't even know why I made it. I don't even know why. But on my second um, Facebook page... He was on there. He, um, I guess he found me on there. And then I'm just like, I added him thinking, oh, well, I went to high school with him. But, I don't, you know, I ain't going to talk to him like that. This dude, every time I got on Facebook, Brandon would chat with me. And it got on my nerves to the point where I had to turn off the chat. Because every time I got on chat, this dude wanted to talk to me. And I'm like, dude, I'm getting on Facebook to check on, to, to be a freaking stalker and look up other people and see what they're doing. I don't care. I don't want to talk to you. So I got off Facebook for a while just because Facebook itself was annoying. And plus, he was annoying. So I got off. I know what you're probably thinking. You should have just blocked him. Look, I was young and I wasn't thinking, okay? <laughs> I was young and I didn't think about that. I could have did that, but I didn't. And plus, I, I wanted to stop using Facebook anyway. So, fast forward to 2016. Last year, around my birthday. By the way, my birthday is next week. I'm so excited. 21. I don't look 21, but 21. <laughs> anyway, last year, my 20th birthday. Now... During the week of my birthday, I went to two places. I went to Applebee's and I went to Cracker Barrel. Those are my two favorite restaurants of all time. If you did go on a date with me and you took me to Applebee's or Cracker Barrel, I will fucking marry you and have babies with you. Because <laughs> I love those places. Um, so the first day on my actual birthday, we went to Applebee's. But I only went with my grandmother and my little brother. Because my mom and my stepdad, they, they had to work, so they couldn't go. So we went to Cracker Barrel from the weekend when they were off. But I went to Applebee's, and he texted me on 
Snapchat. He messaged me on Snapchat. I don't know how this dude found out my Snapchat information. Don't know. But whatever. So he messaged me and he was like, um, uh, your birthday is today? How old are you again? Are you 18? Dude, you know how, you knew how old I was. Like, we went to freaking school together. I was a freshman. You were a senior. You knew how old I was. So I told him, I told him I was, I was turning 20. And then he was like, oh yeah, I forgot. You're, you're a couple years younger than me. Boy, you knew. Okay. Don't act like you didn't know. Anyway. So then I went to Cracker Barrel during the weekend. And I was looking bomb as fuck. I had like this curly wig. And it was long. And I had did my makeup. I had this pur- I had bought this purple lipstick. Which I don't even know why I wore purple lipstick. Because my dress was orange and white. But I didn't care. I was looking good anyway. So I was looking good. And I went with my family. Here come this dude messaging me again. And he's like hey you know. What you been up to? What are you doing? So I'm like, oh, I'm at Cracker Barrel with the family, you know, celebration part two, you know what I'm saying? Because the whole month is my birthday. The whole month of June is my birthday. So if you were born in June, we can celebrate together. It's cool. <laughs> but anyway, so then I told, I tell, after I tell him that, he was like, oh, well, I would love to take you out if you let me. So now I'm thinking, oh, no, this same dude that I, I, that used to annoy the hell out of me is asking me out on a date. Oh my God. What do I do? I don't want to go out with him. Because I feel like if I don't like somebody, why should I go out with them? So I turned to my mom and I asked her, How do you put a guy down easy? How do you put how do you tell a guy no you don't like him and you don't want to go on a date with him without hurting his feelings? Like, how do you put a guy down easy? So at first, she was like, who? What guy want to go out with you? And I was telling her that it's this dude I went to high school with. But, and then she was like, oh, okay, well, you should go out with him. He sounds like a nice guy. Yeah, but just because we went to high school together doesn't mean we know each other. Like, I knew of the guy. He knew of me. He didn't know me. <laughs> okay? So, hmm, what the fuck is that? That's something in my mouth. Um, anyway, but then he says, ever since I've been in college, I haven't had a date. So I felt kind of bad and I kind of understood because when I was in high school, I didn't have a date. (laughs) I didn't date anybody. Couldn't go in, I couldn't get a guy to go out with me if I wanted him to. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll go, go on a date. Yes, get something to eat, you know. I'm getting out the house. And who knows, I might make a friend out of this. So, why not? So, when I got home, we exchanged numbers. And we ended up texting each other back and forth. And I was trying to get to know him, see what his interests were. To see if we really mesh together, you know. Because, you know, you want to have, you want to have some similar interests when you go out with somebody. You know, you want someone as equally as dorky as you are. Because I'm dorky. So I want someone who's just as dorky as I am. You want somebody, they ain't got to be into acting, but they got to... It'd be nice if I met somebody who was into acting like me. But I know that ain't going to happen. Um, Maybe we have similar taste in music, similar taste in movies and things like that. So I asked him, what is your favorite movie? And he said, well, for one, I like comedies. I said, me too. I love comedies. So then he was like, okay, well, what's your favorite comedy? Like, what kind of comedy are you into? And I told him, well, one minute, I'm into all type of comedy comedies. One minute, I could be watching super bad and laughing my ass off. And then the next minute, I could watch fucking Friday and laugh my ass off. Which I watch f- all the Friday movies pretty much every week. I got them all on my computer. So, you know, then he was like, okay, um, 
I saw Friday, but I'm not really into Friday. I might even into hood movies like that. I just don't understand them. I don't get them. I I, I love Super Bad though, but I, I'm not really into hood movies. I know what you're probably thinking. Um, Gemini is he black? Yeah, he's black, but he's just not into that stuff. So I'm just like I'm thinking in my head, yeah, we're not gonna mesh. <laughs> We're not going to mess because hood movies, Boys in the Hood, Friday, Soul Food, Soul Plain. Come on. You can't. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Come on now. Those are classic movies. If you don't like any of those movies, then you can't be my friend. You can't be my boyfriend. You can't be nothing to me if you don't like those movies. But, um, so I said, okay, forget the movies. Let's talk about music. What kind of music do you like? Now, he asked me, what kind of music do you like? I said, now, I'll listen to anything that sounds good, but I'm more of a hip-hop, R&B, especially classic R&B, um, urban pop, bubblegum pop type of girl. Like, Lady Gaga, Christina Aguilera, Beyonce, Kendrick Lamar, Tupac, Don't, um, New Edition, um, troop, boys to men, don't get me started, okay? So, and that's all I listen to. But I, but I told him I listen to anything if it sounds good. Like, I like a couple of rock songs. This fool must have thought I was, like, a big fan of rock music, because I'm not. I, I, I like a couple of rock songs, but I'm not a fan of rock music. That's like, I listen to a couple of Migo songs. I like the song T-Shirt. But I don't like Migos. I'm not a fan of Migos. I would never pay to go see them. I don't like them. Okay. So, he started naming all these bands, all these rock bands I have never heard of. And I'm just like, and it almost was like he was getting offended that I didn't know who they were. I never said I was a fan of rap. I mean, rock rock music. I told you I, I, I listen to a couple songs, but I'm not a fan of rock music. I don't know nothing about rock music. I know classic rock, like Aerosmith, um, Van Halen, and I guess Kiss, if you call it, if you call that a rock band. But I don't know nothing nothing else. So, So then... After that conversation, it just went nowhere. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't think we're going to be together. <laughs> we, we're too different. And then, like, he told me that he was into anime. I don't know shit about anime. I don't watch anime. The only animes I know of, and if you want to count them as anime, is fucking Poke Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Naruto. I love the shit out of Dragon Ball Z, but the other ones, my cousin was a big fan of anime, and that's how I got into those shows. But I didn't even, I didn't even like the shows. I liked the video games. Like they, they all had video games for the GameCube, and I liked the games. I didn't like the shows. I hated the shows. But Dragon Ball Z, that's a classic right there. So, you know, I just realized it just wasn't going anywhere, and I was telling my mom, "Yeah, we're not gonna." It's not going to go anywhere. So then he was, you know, she's like, well, I, I kind of understand because you guys have nothing in common. So, you know, but that's not why, but that's not why I didn't want to go out with him. Because the fact that you don't have anything, we don't have anything in common, it's bad. But I can get over that. It doesn't stop me from going out, going on a date with you. But this is why I didn't go on a date with him. Okay. So, one night... I was at home, and usually when I'm at home, I don't check my phone, I don't text anybody or anything, because I like I want to be left alone when I'm at home. Don't call me, don't text me, don't do nothing, okay? So, he sent me three text messages, and one of them said, Hey, bae, I just wanted to tell you goodnight. Now, I already am pissed off because you called me bae. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Gosh, I need some chapstick. <laughs> Hold on. Um, anyway... We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. We never been on a date yet. Don't call me bae if we have never been on a date. And if we're not boyfriend and girlfriend, don't do that. But I looked past that. I was like, whatever. And then he said something about that he was going to be at work all day. 
but I didn't really care because I'm not trying to text you. Okay, I don't even like you like that, so I'm not trying to text you. But then, you know, then he was like, and this is why I didn't want to go out with him. Then he was like, I, Jasmine, you know, I just, you know, I just want to tell you that I really care about you and I'm in love with you and you sexy as fuck and I want to be with you and, you know, just, it scared me. Because I'm thinking, oh my God, this dude must be in love with me or something. And he must really want to be with me. But I don't want to be with him. I can't go on this date now. Because now, if I go on a date, it's going to look like I'm using him for a fucking free meal. But really, he's looking for a relationship out of this. So this is not going to work. I can't go out with him. And I told my mom about it. Because I tell my mom everything. So I told my mom about it. And at first, she was just like, well, just go out with him. You know, and if you try anything, kick him in the, kick him in the ding ding. Use your pepper spray. Or fucking call me and I'll handle it. <laughs> But then after a while, she started to see my point. And then she was like, but you know what? Just because you went to high school with the dude and he seemed like a nice guy in high school, it don't mean he's the same way as he was coming out. So, you know, maybe it's not a good idea that you go on this date, especially if you don't want to, if you didn't want to go out, out with him to begin with. So just, you know, let him down easy. You know, I would tell a lie if I was you just to get out of going on a date. And I don't like lying. I don't like lying to people because I feel like then if I if you 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 don't learn nothing from a lie. So, but I ended up lying to him and I told him something about I had an emergency, so that's why I couldn't go. I think he knew it was a lie, but I'm kind of mad because I don't like lying, and I usually feel like I, I like I said I feel like you can't learn shit from a lie. You learn from the truth. So. I kind of feel guilty about that. And I just didn't want to go out with him and, you know, use him like that. I didn't want to use him for a fucking meal and then come to find out this dude wants to be with me. And then on top of that, we have nothing in common. And I never wanted to go out with you to begin with. I found this dude to be extremely annoying on social media. He is that same guy on social media complaining about how single he is and how no girl wants him. Maybe... The girls are not the problem. Maybe you're the problem. And I, he just posted something last month talking about something about about how you know he wants a girl who does like who wants the who wants his attention and he wants to give a girl all his attention and be there for his girl and everything else. And he's like, well, girls that tend to think like this, they tend they think it's clingy. Yes, nigga, it is clingy. To me, it's clingy. I'm going to tell you why. Because don't get me wrong. I want a guy who's going to show me attention, show me love, and show me affection. But nigga, give me some space. You don't have to text me every fucking day. Don't text me every day. You don't even have to text me every week. Okay? Don't. Don't. I don't even like it when my friends text me every day. My friends don't even do that. Unless you, you want to chill with me and hang out with me, don't text me and don't call me. Don't. Okay? And my thing is, he is, Brandon is a nice guy, but he just went about things wrong. Any girl will tell you that this is not, that's not okay. You can't, you can't tell a girl before you go on the first day that you care about them because they might not even like you like that. Just like a girl can't do that to a guy. And I have done that to a guy once and it scared him off. Like he didn't even want to talk to me after that. So you can't do that. And I know some guys are probably thinking, oh, well, we're when women think, when women want a good man and they come across one, they don't want him. It's not that, though. It's a way you do certain things. Because if he didn't say that, if he didn't say that, oh, I want to be with you and everything else, and we have him on a date, if he would have waited to, like, the third date or the fourth date, if there would have been a third or fourth date, fourth date, if he did that, I might would have gave him a shot. Is that my baby lotion? Baby lotion. But I might would have gave him a shot. But he 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 rushed things and he scared me off. And you can't do that. So anyway, any ladies who've been through this, how did you handle it? Did you tell him the truth? Or did you lie? Or did you go on a date and then just cut him off? <laughs> did you cut him off after that? And any guys who've been through this, because girls go girls do this too. What did you do after this? 
And make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Gemini Queen 7. And I hope to see you guys later. I have another video, a special video coming up for you guys. Hopefully, I can just shoot it next week. So, be on the lookout for that. And anyway, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. So.